Now, today's question here on parametric differentiation is probably the easiest question that we've seen so far in the series here on daily A-level maths exam questions, which might be a little bit surprising, right? Because parametric differentiation can sometimes be quite tricky. But for this question here, it is quite straightforward, right? As we can see then, quite straightforward parametric equation. So let's just get started then with this question here. Hopefully it shouldn't cause too many problems. So for this question, then what I've got here is the curve C with the following parametric equations. And all we want to do then is just find dy by dx here in terms of t. All right, so to begin with here, then let's just recall using parametric differentiation, right, that dy by dx here is just simply dy by dt. So dy by dt times then dt by dx. So what we need to do here then is just find dy by dt and also dt by dx. And from there then, we can easily find dy by dx. So let's just start then by finding dx by dt here. So for dx by dt, then that's just simply the derivative of x here with respect to t. And if I'm being honest, this should not cause anybody a single issue. If it does, I am slightly worried because in this case here, it's just simply free, right? So for dx by dt, then we just simply get free here. And now for dy by dt here, again, pretty straightforward, just simply differentiate y here with respect to t. So the five here is just a constant that just differentiates to give us zero. If it helps, right, this is minus 6t to the minus 1. In that case, what we get here then for dy by dt is 6t to the minus 2. Perfect. So now because we found dy by dt and also dx by dt here, we can now easily find dy by dx. Let's just put all this together then to find dy by dx. All right, so putting all this together then, what we've got here is dy by dt. So dy by dt here is just simply 6t. So 6t to the minus 2 times then dt by dx. Now what we've got here is dx by dt, right? We need dt by dx. So just simply take the reciprocal then of dx by dt here. So in that case, then what we get here is we times this by one over three. Nice and straightforward, right? And then if we just evaluate this here and simplify, what do we get? We get 6t, so 6t to the minus two, all over three. And then finally to finish with here, just simplify, right? In that case, then what I get here is 2t to the minus two there for dy by dx. And there we go then, as I said, right, quite a nice, easy question there. But there we go then, that gives the solution to today's question.